It's raining men Hello beautiful and welcome, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to look at some new releases to see what's out there, what is coming out, what are we going to grab, what we're not going to grab. I'm going to talk a little bit about a few items that maybe I've already grabbed as well and uh, we're going to share our opinion. So let's get into this. So let's start with a classic. So Prince uh, collection with Urban Decay. If you have not seen that, they have created Urban Decay. They have created a Prince collection. I'm going to put it right here. You can have a look at it. But it is really nice, interesting, but it's a lot of purple tones in there. There's two palettes on there that I just, I don't feel like... They grub me. They suck me in. I, I'm i not necessarily a Prince fan. Uh, I heard a few of his songs, but I was way too young to listen to his song and actually become a real fan. So I'm not quite interested in this collection, but it is really nice. I mean, you have the you have some staples in there. The aligners are really pretty, the way they look. And I've seen some people reviewing this, and they say it's interesting and nice not to not too print like i guess um but they say the quality is there and it's nice and cute not for me though i'm not interested in it so i'm definitely not gonna grab that next thing here we have pat mcgrath collection the divine blush collection she came up with some lipsticks with blushes with highlighter uh and some quads and uh i grabbed one of her blushes and unfortunately let me let me pull it out because i do have it here all right so this is the electric bloom i already bought this and i already did a um a review of it you can see it right here i'm gonna link it up here so you can go and watch it but unfortunately this was presented as a really bright orange um blush and uh, when i got it it did not look orange in the pan and it did not look orange on the face either so i was a little bit disappointed with that and uh, i stayed in my case in this video so if you're interested to see more about it you can go ahead and have a look at it but the quad i was not necessarily interested in it and uh, the highlighter not because i honestly i have so many highlighters i'm pretty sure they're all amazing and beautiful but the blush for me did not work out now this brush is i swear this is one of my big dream hopefully soon enough i'm gonna be able to accomplish this dream but it is to purchase uh this brushes from wayne goss he oh my god the brushes are looking like so damn good so damn good there's seven brushes that are made handcrafted in japan so they're like really quality brushes but they are so expensive i think they're 250 dollars for seven brushes i mean it's a lot you know it's a lot 225 to be exact but it is it's it's a lot there you have seven brushes, a powder one, powder bronzer blush, a powder cream liquid foundation one, a highlighter contour face, a highlight concealer and eyeshadow, uh, eyeshadow and concealer, a blending eyeshadow, crease nose contour, and an eyeshadow nose contour. <sighs> so beautiful. So beautiful, but I cannot afford to pay that much on a set of brushes at least <laughs> not right now um next in here i have another collection that i did grab something from and this is the kiko milano the new dolce diva um collection and this is a beautiful collection beautiful amazing packaging amazing packaging like look at this thing look at this thing 
I got this bronzer, absolutely beautiful. I love, 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 love this. Definitely a brand that we should look more into. But what they had in this collection, they had an after sun cream that was um, $19, which is a lotion, a big brush trio that was $19. Uh, big bronzer, the ones that I showed you, $20 and it came, uh, comes in three shades, a baked highlighter, a blending kit, and so many other stuff. There are like 15 things in this collection, which is really amazing. And I really love the packaging. I did try it. So if you're interested to see, I'm going to link that video right here so you can go and watch it. Now, let's talk about some other set of brushes that kind of caught my eye you know what i mean i was like so uh um upset in a way that i cannot get the uh wayne goss brushes and then i saw this brushes and i was like oh my god those look amazing and they do have a better price and these are from uh Morphe brushes with makeup by Ariel and it's a signature look 12 piece face and eye brush $98 but they also have just the signature eyes which is 8 piece eye brush set for $48 they look amazing they look so good I'm not sure if I'm ready to grab this yet but they are just beautiful and they kind of spark my my eye a little bit this might be in my maybe category maybe all right another thing in here that we have that kind of mm, bored me a little bit and this is from uh lunar beauty money many mua's uh brand and this is life's a drug facelift so basically it's the life of drag eyeshadow palette and he added a few other shades in there made it a bigger palette and they, they called it life's a drag facelift i don't quite understand that concept to be honest with you and i just doesn't it just doesn't make me like oh yeah i need to grab this i do not have the face of drag uh eyeshadow palette but this i just i don't know it's like why is it so big why is it so many colors why is it what is this I don't know what is this you know what i mean like i i don't understand it i don't understand the concept i have seen his uh review uh video i mean like when he presented his uh eyeshadow palette but i i still don't get it i do not get it i it's not for me i'm not interested in it but if you're interested in it, it is already out and it is uh 48 dollars 48 dollars for 21 shades Okay, another um, <laughs> collection that I'll be honest, I never thought I'm going to talk about, but this is from MAC. And if you've seen some of my video, you know that I had some bad experience with MAC. But they came out with a really beautiful collection. I mean, like, let me tell you, this eyeshadow palette kind of speaks to my soul and kind of makes me want to grab it. But I'm not sure I'm ready to do that yet. But this is a um, Botanic Panic Collection. And it has an artistry palette. It has a uh, highlighter, a blush in there, some lipsticks. But that... Those like yellow chartreuse type of colors is just speaking to my soul. The same with that little bit of uh, lilac in there and that coral shade i feel like they look so amazing in there oh they kind of made me want to grab it this might be it maybe i'm not sure if i'm gonna grab it but it's in the maybe section all right another collection that kind of grabbed me by surprise because i was not expecting to want this but this is makeup by mario and this collection is has a bunch of br uh, blushes and some uh, bronzers in there and some sculpting things um and i kind of want to try the blush the blush looks so pretty you guys um i'm not sure i'm not sure and actually it's not a bad price either so the stick the soft sculpting shaping stick is 28 dollars and it's the same with the blush, $28. 
and then they have the powder blush which is $24 the highlighter was just $28 and he also has three brushes that are $28 each I just uh, I want to try it I want to try the sticks I want to try the blush and the bronzer I really really I am really really curious to see how this is it also has like a little bit of a tip of brun a blush a tip of a brush at the end so you can actually blend it that is really cool and I kind of want it so this is in my maybe pile now one that is in my no pile it is this new Norvina ABH collection has a lot of purples in it honestly I I feel like I've seen this eyeshadow palette released by them before like it looks very very similar to one of the other eyeshadow palettes she released like two years ago i'm sorry it does not grab me it just does it doesn't speak to me at all this is 25 shades and it's gonna be 60 dollars and it's already available it was available june 7th so yeah not my speed Another one that kind of intrigues me, but I am not going to grab it, is this Patrick Ta new eyeshadow palette. So goddamn pretty. I mean, those colors are so beautiful and intense, but I do have the shades in different eyeshadow palettes, so I do not need it, but it's really nice. A little bit expensive, though. $60 for 12 shades. Mm, a little bit expensive. Another another uh, collection that I just don't, I don't know, I don't understand it. Like, let me tell you, I do not understand the need of a, of a company to just release blushes or, uh, uh, or whatever it is in so many finishes, in so many directions. It's just too much. Isn't it too much? Um, this is from uh, Jaclyn Hill. So we know she already released those duos, which was a blush and a bronzer, which I still want to try. Uh, but now she's releasing a lot of blushes, even more blushes. So she released a um, Mood Light Luminous Rouge, which is $30 and comes in four shades. Another blush that comes in uh, 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 another romance Cream to powder blush stick in twenty-two dollars. Uh, Rouge Romance Matte Blush Palette in, in forty-five. It's and it's forty-five dollars. And then some lip cushion. But I'll be honest, I don't understand why do you need so many finishes? Like, what is it? Um, I'm not interested in any of them. Maybe the only thing that I would be interested in would be that beam one the the powder one the uh, but other than that i'm not i'm not interested it's too much it's too much just do something else all right so I, apparently everybody wants to <laughs> go for brushes this time of the year i don't know why but there is another one that's been released and it's a cream blush from dominic cosmetics i am not gonna get this one um it is 22 dollars each which is a really nice price but it's a soft pink, a warm peach, and natural rose. None of these I don't think is going to work well for my skin tone, but they are nice. And if you're interested in it, you can go and grab it. Now, apparently, we're going into the brown <laughs> area with some of the eyeshadow palettes that we've seen. And uh, apparently, Mel Cosmetics coming out with a brunette uh, palette that has a bunch of browns in there. Um, and we do not know when this is going to come out. It says coming soon, but it has A shades, metallic matte finishes, and it says there's more. I'm, I'm kind of intrigued by the colors, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to grab this. Okay, so let's talk about this thing because I've seen it everywhere and I've seen opinions everywhere about this collection. So this is the uh, Glam Light and what's her name? Michaela makeup and this is an eyeshadow palette and some other lips and some other stuff in there 
not my thing. Uh, not my thing whatsoever. There's just, it's a humongous palette. I do not gravitate towards that. And I honestly, I'm trying to stay away from uh, collections that are made in collaboration with YouTubers or things like that. I just, I feel some sort of side of, I'm not sure if I feel, I don't know. It's just, it's 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 me somehow somewhat you know what i mean and i'm not sure if i want to try it i also don't know this girl i've never seen her before i don't know what's going on with her but i've seen some people commenting and then i looked a little bit into it she uses this a lot of filters and that for me is a big no-no so i just prefer to stay away i'm gonna stay away from this collection but if you're interested in it it's coming out soon so there you go. Uh, another collection that this one kind of I might I might get this one. I'm not sure. This is so pretty. I know a lot of people hate it on uh, as hating it on her, whatever. But this is KKW Beauty in this new collection, the Camel Collection. It is beautiful. The eyeshadow palette. I love that eyeshadow palette. I want that eyeshadow palette. You know why I want it, right? Because of the greens. <laughs> I love greens. Um, it is in my maybe. This is $52 and it's already, uh, it's available on June 11. I don't know. Should I get this? I don't know, but I like it. I like it. All right. A new collection is coming soon from <laughs> Revolution x brats can you believe that there's uh, the brats are coming in a form of makeup from uh makeup revolution interesting um it's gonna be available on 18 but i don't know uh how much it is doesn't say i'm not gonna grab that no i wasn't a bit i i've never been a fan of brats i don't know why but i've never been a bird uh a fan of them yet again another blush <laughs> and this blush is from drunk elephant and it is 36 dollars and it's supposed to be coming soon on their website i'm not sure if this is only one color uh it is a little bit intriguing i'm not sure what's going on with this but if it's just one color that is weird um but it is really really interesting the way it looks really interesting am i gonna grab this no mm -mm. no nope, not grabbing no nope. not interested in that either okay so nomad cosmetics <laughs> came out with an amazing amazing beautiful gorgeous eyeshadow palette and this one just released yesterday and i cannot wait to get it i already bought this i already bought this I bought it, okay? I bought it, I bought it. So this is, does it have a name? <laughs> so this is a destination inspired eyeshadow palette. It has a bunch of national parts in there. It is really beautiful. It has a lot of greens in there, which I love, 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 love. But I cannot, I cannot wait to see this in in my hands and just kind of play with it and just kind of see how this brand is. This is going to be my very, very first uh, eyeshadow palette that I grabbed from them. And this is $38. I believe that's how much I paid. $38. Really beautiful eyeshadow palette. Definitely amazing. And I cannot wait to grab it and play with it. Another collection that is coming soon it's from sydney grace yes you heard that right it's sydney grace sydney grace and tentalia i believe you call it they come out with a collection which is three eyeshadow palettes uh i don't quite understand the concept of all this they 
call it dark and light. I don't know what is going on with that. But there's three eyeshadow palettes and it's going to be available on June 18. And there's going to be $40 each or you can grab all of them for $100. There are some um, codes out there that you can get it for even cheaper than that. But I love the packaging, you know, of all three. I don't love the colors. I'll be honest, I just don't love these colors. They, I feel like they look muddy. You know what I mean? They just look super muddy. I'm not sure which one would I be able to choose if I would want one. It's hard to choose. Like, I feel like the tones are very similar to each other. So I would not want to invest my money into all three. I would rather just grab one. And then I see shades from each of them that I like, but I would like them to be in just one palette, but they're spread throughout. So I don't know. I want to grab it because I know Sydney Grace, uh, it is really good quality, but I don't know which one I want. And I'm not sure if I'm going to grab one of them. I'll be honest. I'm not sure if I want to grab one of them. You let me know down below if you're interested in this and if you want to grab something from them. But this is all I have for you today. This is my will I buy it video. Let me know down below which one are you interested in or if there's other collections out there that you're interested in. Let me know down below. But this is all I have for you today. Thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I cannot wait to see you all next time with another video. Bye now.